This is a modeling shoot for an Indian company that sells traditional Indian clothes to the Indian market. Nice to meet you. Your makeup looks beautiful. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Ukraine. Ukraine, okay. The strange thing here, there are no Indian models. I don't know, I'm looking okay. through the catalog. I'm wondering why don't they use Indian women? There is a lot of amazing Indian models, you know? Yeah. Working, who work in, like, in Paris, in New York, you know? But they're not working here. But they don't work in India. <laughs> it's in about skin. Everything's about skin? I think so. Why aren't there Indian models? Indian model is not fair like this much. They want the fairer, fairer look on Just a little bit touch of Indian look. It's an open secret in India that fair skin is seen as the beauty ideal. But for anyone hoping to become a Bollywood star, it can feel more like a job requirement. So this is uh, audition messages. So big production, fair skin or normal skin, I think okay, but good looking. So Kartik is showing me all of the casting calls over email and at the f you know first line of all of them, it's either fair or very fair. So you're like Bollywood's casting director. Yes, but I started as an acting teacher. Mm. My company comes fourth in Bollywood. So everybody comes. Well, I'll, I'll just kind of be uh, standing next to you. Maybe yes. your sidekick? Yeah, yeah, it's my pleasure. Well, let's get started. Yeah, we'll start. So what types of actors are you, are you looking for? Two main leads, like bride and groom. Hey, baby, where are you? I'm back. I want to propose you, but I'm not ready for wedding. So I know he will not get selected. What the clients has tell us, ki he should be 5, 10 above, fair looking, very dashing look. Hello. Hey baby, I'm home. I mean, I want to propose you, but I'm not ready for the marriage. I mean, how do you think he did? Not good. Oh. Baby, I'm home. The look was not going, the acting was not going, nothing was going. So if somebody's a great actor, but they have a dark complexion, will you hire them? Uh, yes, we hire them only if the client says, Ki, we need a dark complexion. Mm -hmm. What the clients has tell us, we need a fair complexion. Hey, baby. Honey, yeah. much makeup in. We are doing everything. <laughs> Trust me. Or me propose can you, I mean, propose me. I was thinking about it, but maybe I call her. Just give me one minute. <laughs> is complete is script kuch bhi nahi thi. there was no script <laughs> but perfect but it was perfect girl is very beautiful she's very good looking and the guy is very good looking very beautiful he is a perfect choice because um, again he is a fair skin so he comes in up market okay. i will cast this one of course, we wanted to find out what it was actually like on a Bollywood set. Pretty fair skinned and everyone else. Sir, aap dekho, aap are you are you the are you love interests in this TV yes. show? Yes. You know the title so. of the show? Papa by chance? Yes. Papa by chance. Yeah. So what hint you got from the title? Uh, that he he was made a father by, by chance. chance. So that's yeah, all that, about that's it. about the show. How did you become a papa by chance? 
so I met with an accident and I killed their parents. Well, this got dark quick. Yes, with, yeah. with some drama and uh, humor and uh, love interest. Yeah. We were hanging out with a casting director yesterday. He was telling us that in a lot of the casting calls, they'll ask for fair actors. Yep. And so as a result, a lot of actors will start to use like Fair and Lovely and White Miracle in these products. Ooh, this is not true. Uh, is that typical though, where the people who get main parts are fair skinned? No, but uh, you, you think I'm fair? I think you're very fair. I really think I'm brown in color. So, <laughs> thank you so much. I, I obviously, an actor would do. They'll get their makeup done, mm -hmm. to be fair. Sometimes, when actors are denied parts because of their skin tone, they'll turn to a booming sector of the Indian beauty industry, skin lightening. The most popular products have titles like White Perfect and Fair and Lovely, and are made by the biggest Western cosmetic companies in the world, Unilever, Procter & Gamble, L'Oreal, to name a few. Around 60% of women and a growing number of men in India say they use these creams. And the way they sell off the shelves, they hire Bollywood's biggest stars. This is India's Don Draper, Kailash Surendranath, who created many of these ads, and Anupama Verma, the former face of Fair and Lovely. Now what is happening actually is in the country uh, psychologically is that um, maybe it's a hangover of the British Raj. Mm. But generally, a fair complexion is looked up upon. But the dark complexion was not so looked upon. So especially for marriage. What was sort of your standard storyline for these advertisements? An arranged marriage is being fixed. The boy comes to see the girl. Maybe finds her too dark. The next time she's used fair and lovely, another boy comes to see the girl and marries her prerequisite to get married. <laughs> the scripts used to be standard and very weird. Like it was always about, you can't get a job unless you're fair. Yeah. You can't get married unless you're fair. As a model, I was cast because I was fair, not because I was really using the product. The Indians, they feel fair and beautiful. Everyone's so beautiful. If you see the matrimonial ads, it'll always, it won't say, beautiful, educated girl. It'll always say, wanted, fair, intelligent girl. In fact, you know, a lot of people uh, give this with the dowry. They give her saris, they give her, uh, you know, whatever jewelry yeah. and stuff which she's going to take with her and the fairness cream. Was there a moment when you both felt like, maybe I should stop endorsing this stuff? Well, when I did feel that way, I stopped. I decided not to sell stupid scripts, you know, which promise, promise the world to you because you're fair. That, that's just, I think that's in Indian, like, um, you know, a little hangover over the West is because they feel fair and beautiful. Fair, they think that's beautiful. Having to fit into a cultural definition of beauty to be a movie star is not an unfamiliar concept. Hollywood basically invented it. But skin color bias permeates all layers of society here. And it's causing some women to go to extreme lengths to become lighter. Her skin burning? Uh, no, this is the carbon. The carbon. Which is burning, yeah. Yeah. What I'm doing is I'm hitting all these carbon particles with the laser. So, what it does, it will go and hit the melanin. When the hit, melanin is hit, it will get destroyed. Then the patient will feel a sense of glowing and a brightness on the face. So, it basically so it destroys that destroys pigment? Destroys this pigment temporarily. How popular has this treatment been? From last year, there's a 100% increase in the number of people who are coming in for this treatment. Wow, you've seen a 100% growth in this part of your yes, business. Yes, in this part of your business. And Neha, um, how did you decide to, to get this treatment? I had to go to a job, so I had to go to an interview. So people had to go to an interview. My documents were good, but because of the people, people had to reject me. If it's fairness, then I had to get a better job. You know, if you're applying to a job, will an employer say, I'm sorry, you're, you're too dark? Do you feel a sense of guilt for, in some ways, perpetuating that narrative? Yeah. Yeah, you feel that it's not the right thing which you're doing because she's beautiful as is it. I'm not helping her getting a job, but that is what the industry demands. 
Celebrities endorsing these products, commercials broadcasted to hundreds of millions of people, contributes to an already deeply rooted prejudice that goes back generations. Kavitha Emanuel has been working to change this for years with a campaign called Dark is Beautiful. This is a belief that is embedded deep in our minds. It is part of our culture. Where did this all begin? I think there are several reasons as to why we have this issue today. And, um, and people, especially here in India, people always ask me, is it because of colonialism? And then there is the caste issue, of course, we have. And the general belief is that the higher up you are in the caste system, you are lighter. Mm. It's the whole idea of the ruler was white. Is this just sort of in certain parts of society every now and then, or is this something that people face every day? There are things that we do at home every day that tell you that we are biased when it comes to skin color. When a baby is born, um, in India, the first thing, of course, people want to know if it's a girl or a boy. But then the next thing people look for is the color of the skin. When, just when the baby's born? Just when the baby's born. From day one, parents start speaking negative stuff about the baby's skin color. So just imagine how the child grows up. I saw how it affected the confidence level um, in girls. That really kind of shocked me. I thought, wow, this is a big issue and no one's talking about it. Campaigns like Emmanuel's have helped to spur others to join in and speak out. A youth group called Kranti is helping young girls reclaim their self-esteem. I love my skin. It's brown, dark brown. Orangish. My mom gave me this skin, and I'm proud of it. Kranti operates as a home for daughters of sex workers, and their mission is to empower their girls to combat class and skin color discrimination. It's just not about the society. It's your own family who has been starting blaming you since a very young age. My mom has always been like taunting me for saying like, you are so black that you won't ever get a guy. You are so black you won't ever get a job. Do this, use this cream, use this homemade remedy just to look brighter. I'm like, why? Why can't I feel beautiful the way I am? How many of you have used a skin lightening cream? When I look back, I used to apply creams and eyeliner, all those things to look beautiful. In my school days, I've always been like crying about myself. I could still see, see myself being a 12-year-old girl standing in the front of mirror, saying shittiest words I could even imagine. <laughs> like, dude, you are not beautiful. Like, look at you. You are a piece of shit. Like, those words hurt. It's out there every day, in your face. You switch on the television. Every other product is talking about whitening your skin. And we've seen how it affects children. We are a diverse nation with diverse languages and ethnicities. I think we should look forward and see why are we still entertaining this um, toxic belief.